I get lifted. I love, I love driving around Ireland and sometimes you see things and it fucking inspires you. I went to a, a drive through McDonald's recently. Now I don't normally go to McDonald's, but I was in a bad mood <laughs> and I didn't want it to stop. <laughs> Do you ever get one of them days? <laughs> so I saw the golden arches and I thought, great, I'll knock another hour out of this anyway. <laughs> so I pulled in and this wall asked me what I wanted. Imagine a talking fucking wall. <laughs> so I gave the wall my order <laughs> and I went to the next hatch and I paid. And I went to the last hatch. The manager, not some acne-faced, <laughs> buck-toothed, young fella only there a week and not knowing what he was doing. The manager of the drive through McDonald's at the Kilmartin service station, the far side of Athlone, <laughs> stuck his head out the window with the food in this hand and says, Tommy! You shouldn't be eating this shit. <laughs> no. He says, I'll let you away with it this time. If I ever fucking see you here. There's the people like that that make you feel proud to be Irish. <laughs> that there's still some fucking life left in us. Now, of course, we don't get it right all the time. When I was in Cologlin there a few weeks ago, a girl was introduced to me at the interval. And fine looking girl she was. A heen or something like that. <laughs> Beautiful. And she was getting an award because she was doing her leave insert and they realised that in her whole life Never missed a day of school. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what kind of a fucking country is this, lads? <laughs> she shouldn't be given an award. Social services should be sent to the house. <laughs> what kind of a child never misses a day of school? <laughs> Did her granny never die? Did she never get her first period? What the fuck? <laughs> A girl who never misses a day of school is a girl who doesn't want to be at home. <laughs> She's at the school during the summer holidays. I'll do anything, just don't send me home. <laughs> I went out on the drive as well. I was on, I was on the wild Atlantic way, you know, and I was, I took a left someplace and I was someplace in Kerry and there wasn't a tree or a wall or nothing. And I was riding the motorbike and I, it was paradisal. And I was running out of Petra. There wasn't even a hint of a town any place. Like. And I was getting anxious and then I turned the corner miraculously. There was, you wouldn't really call it a petrol station. It was a cross between a petrol station and someone's house. <laughs> Do you know what those country places where there's two pumps, a bit of cement and then the sitting room? <laughs> <laughs> and I pulled in and I saw the white lace curtains twitching. I was in Kerry now, like, uh, good men. How are you lads? <laughs> Get in there, take out time. <laughs> Jesus, it's a, it's a cold evening for haircuts like that, lads. <laughs> the midges will get no comfort out of you. <laughs> anyway. I pulled into this place in, in Kerry and I was aware, you know, the, the highfalutin nature of parts of Kerry. Do you know, the, the reason the mountains in Kerry are so big is so the Kerry people will never get over themselves. <laughs> <laughs> so I filled up the tank and the bike and it usually costs 25 quid, you know. I looked at the pump, 89 euro. <laughs> I 
fuck Kerry, that's what I thought, fuck you. <laughs> and I went into the shop. Now, to call it a shop was a fucking mistake. It was a room with a couple of empty crunchy boxes in the corner. And there was a fella, <laughs> there was a couple of purple snacks in the window gone yellow. <laughs> A fella draped over the counter. Didn't even register that I'd walked in. I'd say he was depressed, but not taking the meds. Do you know? <laughs> Saying to the wife, I'll ride it out. I'll fucking ride it out. <laughs> Don't take the meds, lads. Did you ever go to St. Pat's, did you? Psychiatric hospital in Dublin. Do they talk to you? Do they fuck? They take your clothes? and try to get your meds right. Not too high, not too low. Good to go. <laughs> this fellow was gonna do it by himself. There he was, in the doldrums, draped over the counter, <laughs> in the shell of a shop somewhere in West Kerry. And I walked in and I said, um, I, uh, I think your pump is broken. And he says, ah. Uh, that pump's been broken a long time. <laughs> I, I said, I, I, I fill it up and it, it says 89 euro on it, but it usually only costs me 25. Ah, oh, I wouldn't even say you were there that long. <laughs> now, I officially had no idea what the fuck was happening now. <laughs> thinking maybe I'd gone into the fucking the room beside the shop. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most refreshing conversations I've ever had in economic Ireland. And then he said one of the most beautiful things that's ever been uttered in Ireland in the 21st century. I said to him, how much will I give you? And he says, I don't know. <laughs> How much will you give me? <laughs> Isn't there poetry in that, lads? And I'm glad I don't remember exactly where it was, because if I did, every fucking truck driver in the country would be pulled up outside it. We are a country full of lunatics. 